sufficient. That's more than sufficient to work with this uh, uh, selenium. Whereas if you want to work with QTP, must ensure you should have 2 GB of RAM. Whereas if you want to install this QTP, you need to have 2 GB of RAM. Okay, these are all the uh, different uh, advantages of selenium when compared with QTP. These are all the advantages of selenium when compared with QTP. But still, there is one drawback with this selenium. What is that drawback in the sense? The selenium supports only web applications, whereas QTP supports both desktop and web applications. QTP supports both desktop and web applications, whereas selenium supports only web applications. Selenium supports only web applications. What is web applications and what is desktop applications? What is web applications and what is desktop applications? Can you give some examples for web applications? Web applications examples are like uh, Amazon, Flipkart, Gmail, Facebook, anything which opens inside a browser, anything which opens inside a browser is a web application. Rest of all the other applications are desktop applications. Desktop applications are anything which opens inside a browser is a web applications. No, desktop applications. <laughs> desktop applications. Uh, desktop applications are nothing but uh, WordPad, Notepad, Paint, Calculator. These things are desktop applications. <laughs> desktop applications is uh, see. Uh, Anything which opens inside a browser is a web application. Rest of other applications are desktop applications. Almost all the... Uh, see, do you see any companies developing desktop applications nowadays? No. Very, very few companies only develop uh, desktop applications. Almost all the companies develop only web applications. This is a drawback, but not a big drawback at all. This is not a big drawback. It's a drawback, but not a big one because no companies develop desktop applications nowadays. Everyone are developing web applications only. And that too, what the Selenium guys are doing nowadays is they are uh, developing a new tool called Vinium. Vinium is a tool like Selenium which is used to automate Windows based desktop applications. Only trial versions are going on. If actual versions of this product get, uh, Vinium gets released right, almost all the companies will literally stop using this uh, QTP or other tools and they will switch to Selenium itself. because. The drawback, whatever it is there, is also going to overcome. Only trial versions are going on. If this actual version gets released, people will literally stop using other tools. That is why... That is why... Almost... Uh, it is preferred to go with Selenium. And there is, they used to say that there is a huge uh, go, uh, demand for Selenium going further. Okay, that's it. Take down this. Differences between QTP and Selenium in your notes. Next, we'll jump into Selenium.
Okay, next. Ten down heading is selenium. We are going to uh, learn about selenium. Selenium comprises of sorry, selenium has been invented in the year 2004 by a scientist called Jason Huggins. And the company which has developed this is ThoughtWorks. Don't take down this. Listen. I will give you time to take down. Listen. Selenium. Comprises of three components. Selenium IDE. Integrated. Meant environment. Integrated development environment. Next. RC that is nothing but remote control control next one web driver selenium id rc and web driver initially in the year 2004 they have implemented selenium id later on they found some drawbacks with the selenium id later on in the year 2007 they have implemented rc again they found some drawbacks with the selenium rc later on in the year 2008 they have implemented selenium web driver where everyone are using selenium web driver even now also we are going to learn about selenium web driver only selenium comprises of three components selenium comprises of three components now we are not going to learn anything about selenium id and rc because that has been outdated only for next half uh, 10 to 15 minutes we will learn about selenium id it doesn't take much time to learn selenium id then directly we will jump into selenium uh, web driver we are not going to learn anything about rc because everything which is there in rc also has been covered in web driver that's why we are going to learn just about selenium ide only now ide I'll give you some four points about Selenium IDE. We'll look at that at the end of this session. Selenium IDE, it is just a record and playback tool. Selenium IDE, it is just a record and playback tool. It is an add-on to the Firefox browser. It is an add-on to the Firefox browser. And uh, add on to the for Firefox and Chrome browser. Firefox. It is an add on to the browsers. It is not a separate executable file. It supports only Firefox and Chrome browser. It is less secure. It is less secure. Installation of Selenium ID. Now we are going to see the installation of Selenium ID. Later on, after working on this, we will discuss about these points. First, take down installation of Selenium ID. Take down this.
Next, take down heading as Selenium ID. We will see about installation of Selenium ID. Don't take down any notes, I will give you. See, as I said, Selenium ID, it's an add-on to the browser. It supports only Firefox and Chrome browser. Let us install in the Chrome browser and start working on the Chrome browser. See, normally if you want to install any software, normally if you want to install any software, what you will do, you will download a .exe file, you will just double click on that, click on next, 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 next and install. That is how you install any tool. But installation of Selenium ID is quite different. Installation of Selenium ID is quite different. What we have to do here is, as I said, it is an add-on to the Firefox or Chrome browser. First, open Chrome browser. Open Chrome browser. Okay, I'm going to install in the Chrome browser. That's why I'm going. I have opened Chrome browser. Go to the website called selenium.dev. That is our official website to download any other softwares also related to Selenium for the selenium.dev. Under selenium.dev, go to downloads. Under selenium.dev, go to downloads. Under selenium.dev, click on downloads, go to downloads. Under downloads, under downloads, under that, go to selenium IDE. Under that, go to selenium IDE. Under that, go to selenium IDE. Under selenium IDE, go to download latest versions uh, of here, Chrome, Firefox, like that we have, right? Chrome Firefox Edge. I am going to click on this Chrome. Edge also it supports recently but it's not completely also again. Click on this then it will go here. Then it will uh, ask you to add to Chrome. Here instead of remove from Chrome you will have add to Chrome. See here you will have this button. Click on this add to Chrome and click on add extension so that it will add. Once you add right it will take a bit of moment and it will add. Yes it has added. Now this is the Selenium, this is the Selenium ID, this is the Selenium ID tool. Click on this, you will be able to open this Selenium ID. That's it. This is all about how to open the Selenium ID. Open Chrome browser, Chrome browser, go to selenium.dev, click on downloads under selenium ide subsection click on chrome click on chrome Click on add to Chrome. Click on add to Chrome. Add to Chrome. Uh, then uh, that's it. And click on add to Chrome and add extensions extension okay that's it this is all about installation of selenium id take down this into your notes take down this into your notes okay.
Okay, next we are going to see about uh, we have installed Selenium IDE. Now what we need, we need to have an application to automate. We need some applications like Facebook or Gmail or some application to automate. But if I use those applications right, I cannot give my credentials to login. Okay, because those are secured ones. That's why I am going to use an application called demo.actitime.com. That is not www.actitime.com. That is demo.actitime.com. That is demo.actitime.com. In this demo.actitime.com, I need to enter admin manager and click on login. I need to enter admin. Uh, username is admin and password is manager and I need to click on login so that I will be logging into the application. Enter admin manager and click on login so that it will login into the application. Click on log. Okay. I need to log in into this application. I need to, to automate the login scenario of this demo.actitime.com by using Selenium IDE. How to do that? That is what we are going to see now. How to automate this actitime.com or uh, the login scenario of this actitime.com. Okay, first let us open Selenium IDE. This is the Selenium IDE tool. Let us open Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE. Open Selenium IDE. record a new test in a new project click on record a new test in a new project okay project name project name i am going to give acti time or some name any name what you give click on ok give the base url on which you are going to work click on start recording the base url in the sense the url of demo data complete url click on recording. it will open selenium ID. sorry it will open the browser it will open the browser here now whatever i do in the browser it will get recorded see i am going to type admin that is getting recorded i am going to type manager that is getting recorded because by default the record button is in on okay i am going to after clicking on this i am going to click on this login that is getting recorded whatever i do in the browser that is getting recorded here because by default the record button is in on if I click on stop recording, if I click on stop recording and if I click on logout, will logout will get recorded? No, it won't get recorded. It won't get recorded because I have stopped recording. Now, up to login, opening browser, entering admin in the username text box manager in the box, clicking on login button has been done. Up to that I have recorded. Now this is the run button. If I click on the run button and if I sit idle, it will open demo.actitime.com. Then it will enter admin. Then it will enter admin manager. Click on login so that it will login into the application. The same amount of manual work, whatever I have did earlier, I have recorded that and I have kept it and I had rerun it. This is what Selenium does. This is what Selenium IDE does. It will record and it will play back. It will record and play back. If I want to do the same set of uh, task once again, that login test case once again, what I'll do, I'll click on this, uh, I'll click on this and I will sit idle. So that it will open demo.actitime.com. It will enter admin manager, click on login. It will enter admin manager, click on login. So that it will log into the application. Yes, done. Now, let me explain you once again how to record and playback. It's very easy. Listen carefully. No notes for this. This is an outdated tool. No one, no one in the company uses this tool. Okay. Click on Selenium ID. 
record a new test in the new project give the project name click on ok give the url click on start recording enter admin manager click on login so that it will login into the application after logging into the application okay i am going to stop recording i am going to stop recording up to login only i have recorded i can click on logout and record logout also that's not an issue just for simple i am doing that now if i run using this is the run button if i click on this run button then it will whatever i did it manually it will do it through automation also enter admin manager click on login done okay now this is just a record and playback tool for example see when i am recording this right when i am recording this see you have saw that when you are recording the same way like this instead of this uh, record instead of this i will give icicbank.com click on okay give icic url and click on start recording it will open then what i will do i will tell my friend to enter his username and password now what he will do he will enter his username and password admin manager and i am going to click on login after logging and i will tell him to show the balance once he shows the balance i will tell okay you have good credit score and balance so that i will give you a loan you can leave from here then as soon as he goes out from here i will tell him to uh, i will tell him to log out he will log out of the application then okay you are safe enough as soon as he goes out right i can see his username and password can someone see their password also is it is it a secure tool no no it's not a secure tool that is why i said it is less secure it is less secure it is just a record and playback you can record and playback it is an add on to the firefox browser it is not a executable file it supports only firefox chrome and edge browser also recently it is less secure that's why almost all the companies have literally stopped using the selenium ide and they have implemented selenium rc again they found some drawbacks with rc and everyone started switching to selenium web driver and we are also going to learn completely about selenium web driver only going further okay now